Let's go through a quick demo of the coherent speech model from Sesame Labs, who has developed one of the most organic sounding English AI voices to date. So here's the GitHub page. They also have a hugging face. I'm gonna go through in a second a notebook that I found, Colab notebook. Just a quickly level set if you've never used Google Colab. This gives you the ability to run Python, I think also R, um, in the cloud without much hassle. Um, to make this work, you need to be on a GPU. So you to do that, you would just go to runtime change runtime and pick what you need. To um, download all this, take some time. You're gonna have to re reset your environment after you download some stuff. You need to have a hugging face token. I'm not gonna get into that, but if you're curious, you'll need to have that as well, have, as, well as having it set up for a couple of dependencies, including a variant of Meta's Llama. And then I'll kind of skip over this, but it takes a while to download all of this. There's um, multiple gigabytes to download. And then the basic audio generation, the first kind of demo that you have in this particular um, demonstration from, let me quickly scroll back up, from Chaitanya, whom I don't know. Thanks Chaitanya for releasing this notebook, which has a lot of the same information that was on the GitHub too, by the way. Um, to kind of give you a sense of what to expect. This first demo is a little bit underwhelming. It gets better though. Stood an ancient lighthouse. It's Iraqan Apple one cliff size. It has some kind of garbled speech. It sounds kind of robotic. It does better with shorter examples. So here's a, a better example for you. I drink a lot of coffee. It's pretty fast for a short sentence like that, like only maybe a few seconds. The weather is nice. And every time you run it, it should, it often is a different person because I think there's a number of voices that are, that were trained here. The weather is nice. And then let's go through a couple more. So there's also the ability to provide reference audio. So I found some audio from Mozilla from the from Mozilla's common voice upload it here and then reference it. I found this kind of random sentence that was said in the reference audio that I typed in for the reference segment. Here's how that one sounds. I have a hankering for some French food. If you want to hear kind of what that voice sounded like initially, I can go like search and find it. Rosen cold such exchanges tide sales. So there you go. That was a reference text here. And then for this one, I found a, a segment saying his official rank was lieutenant. Let's see, but I have it saying, do you like tacos? Do you like tacos? <laughs> and that's kind of it in a nutshell. You can play around with longer sentence lengths. You can change the maximum audio length. You can experiment with different input voices. You can, yeah, you can kind of have some fun here, but don't expect anything magical. You can't really have a conversation that's literally doing input and like listening to the output. So hope you found this interesting. It's kind of fun to play around with it. Um, that's it.